All right, in this example app, we're gonna be using Redux Toolkit to be managing a count state or count variable. You can see when I click the plus button, the count goes up. So we're gonna be learning all about Redux, all the definitions you need. And I really wanna encourage you to stay, stick through the definitions because I think that's where 90% of the people get confused with. So let's get started. So what is Redux Toolkit? Well, Redux Toolkit is a global state management library. So global means that it can be accessed throughout your whole application, throughout any component, and state is just data. In this case, it can be an array, a string, text, an object, you name it. It can be whatever you want it to be. And usually it's data that's dynamic or updates over time, say. And a store is just the central location or the central object that stores all that data. Now it also has some functions that allow us to update the data in the store and it allows, has functions that notify us when data changes in the store. An action is an object that has two properties, a type and a payload. The type tells the store what it needs to do and the type is always a string. And the payload can be a string, an object, anything you want and it's what the store needs to execute that action. In our case, we're adding a message and the payload's just a string because it's the message itself. An action creator is just a function that creates an action. So you can see that right here. And a reducer is a function that takes in the state and the action and returns a new state. Usually it has a switch statement that switches on the type and that's how it knows what to do. And this is, and in this example, we're starting off with the initial state of a bunch of messages and we're just adding the message from the payload. So we're adding that to as the last element in the state. Now, if you're not changing the state, you can just return the state. So if you don't have a type for the action, you can just return the state like so, but you always, always, always want to return the state. Now, Redux Toolkit, what's the flow? You, an event happens. So say a user clicks a button, um, an event handler triggers, so far no Redux, but this is where the Redux comes in. We create an action and then we dispatch that action. So dispatch is a function off store, off of the store. And then in, then once that action is dispatched, the store will call the reducer with the action and the current state. It'll then create a new state right here. And then we'll notify all the functions that have subscribed to be notified when the state changes. So let's see that in action. All right, let's get started. First, I wanna talk about the uh, HTML. We've got a counter and we've got a spam here with an ID of count. We've got a plus button and an unsubscribe button and the source.index.js, which you can see right here, it's in the source. And we're using parcel to compile all this or the template is, I should say, or code sandbox. Then in our index.js file, we're importing Redux Toolkit and we've got this configure store function and that's what's used to create the store. We've got our HTML element stored right here, our initial state, which is just five, and then we're updating that uh, spam element right here. And then if we go right here, you can see in our configure store, we're passing in the counter reducer and the initial state, which is this preloaded state. So the store will start off with five and the user interface will start off with five. Then we have our counter reducer, which takes in a state and an action. The state is the data that's currently being stored in the, in the store, and the action is uh, has a type and a payload, as we went over before. And you can see right here, we're adding one to uh, the state, because our state is just a number. If we don't know it, we're just returning the state right here. So the default is just to return whatever the current state is. And we pass that into our configure store and get a store object. Here we're creating the reducer, uh, creating the actions. We have our action creator right here. So we're returning type and a payload. In our case, we don't really need a payload, but I'm just showing you that you would have one here. So for the message store, as you saw, you have a message parameter that you would pass into the payload. And then we have our um, event handler for this add button right here. And we have our, um, our an anonymous function right here that we're using to update the user interface. So let's go over this in a nutshell. When I click the button 
an action is created. The store will call this dot dispatch, which is a function that takes in the action. The store will then pass all that information to the reducer, the state and the action, and we'll get back a new state. Because it got back a new state, it will then call all the functions that have subscribed to this state changes. In our case, we only have one. And then we'll call store.getState to get the current value that's being stored in the store, and we'll use that to update our count EL right here. And if I click plus again, you can see it does the same thing. We also have our unsubscribe function right here, and this will, if this is called, and this is returned to us when we subscribe, but if this is called, what will happen is this anonymous function will no longer run. So if I unsubscribe and I click plus, you can see it's no longer updating the user interface, but the store is still being updated. And I can show you that a little bit more clearly here. So I'm going to right click and inspect, and we're going to use Redux developer tools. And you can see we're starting off with five. And if I click plus, plus again, see it updates. But if I click unsubscribe and I click plus again, you can see it still updates the store. It's eight, but it's just not updating the user interface because that anonymous function isn't running. So your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to add a minus button to create a minus action creator and a minus action and to add to the counter reducer. So go ahead and see if you can do this. Give it a good five to 10 minutes. You can fork my uh, demo and yeah. And I'll catch you all in the next uh, section.